Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel MP Detailing. Today I've got a little bit of a different video actually. Um, I bought another car, I sold my 3 Series E46 BMW um, about over a month ago now. Um, got a decent price for it. Mrs wanted another car because she was in love with the 3 Series and she likes her Audis. And this is what I got, let's check it out. Yes, it is a A5 2 litre TDI S line Quattro. Now, I haven't got much experience with Audis, I've just been a BM man, um, to be honest with you. I've never had um, an Audi of my own. Mrs. has had a company car, she's had an A3, she had a heart set on an A3. We we're on our way to the dealership. Well, or a trader basically not a dealership second hand car this is a 2011 Audi A5 2 litre TDI so yeah we got on their way there and she we got a call on the way saying that the Audi A3 is gone that was a 2 litre TDI S line one owner and yeah she was very gutted silence all the way there but then we saw this car and she liked it 18 inch alloys, standard, S line badge. I've not, I know, I've not got um, experience with A5s to be honest, but I didn't even know it had LED lights at the back or daytime running lights. So, what I'm gonna do to this, so I'm gonna be looking at giving it a detail. Not all in one go, I'm going to be doing it step by step. I did a carbon clean on it yesterday, which helped the driving. But look at this engine bay, look how dirty it is. Now from looking at this car, it had cobwebs all in here. This car had been sitting a while, I think. Um, didn't do it any favors, to be honest. I need to get the engine oil done. I need to get this serpentine belt down there this one here that needs changing um, oil change air filter just give it a good service because I don't know how it's been looked after it's got a few service histories up until 2020 but I think lockdown kicked in so it's just been sat around maybe the company went bust I don't know it's an ex-company car one owner hundred and 12,000 miles I think it was on the clock we'll have a look in a sec I've not really had a chance to look we'll have a look inside um, and also I'll tell you about a little gadget which I got the Carista app and the Carista OBD2 connection I can't believe I unlocked some features in this car so I'll talk about that shortly so it's a a pearl metallic grey I don't know what the actual name of it is but it's got a lot of contamination in the paint obviously it's been sitting look how dirty it is it's just dull and no life in that paint so you know we need to get that up get that gloss back give it a good clean front bumper I believe has been sprayed before not very well though these lights definitely need clearing up these are really bad really bad there look so the lights not coming out properly let's check out the interior I mean we saw an A4 which was an NS line and then we saw this one which is an S line the difference in build quality to a normal A4 and an S line is completely different. I didn't know it was so different. We drove the A4, if 
found it very plain. The styling of the inside of the car was boring. This car just looks a lot better um, inside. And obviously, it's a Quattro as well, which makes it four-wheel drive. Check out driver's side. So what I use is, I used a Carista app yesterday. And what I found out was, um, when I um, started this car up, tried to put it in telephone, which is here. Um, it's supposed to have Bluetooth. Now you would think a car this day and age, you would have Bluetooth and that would be, you know, standard in most cars. But this car, it said telephone not installed. And no matter what it did, I looked on the internet, looked on YouTube for other videos. There's some guys with some other videos. Now, there's a lot of all this plugging in an OBD cable to a laptop, getting a V, is it VDS or something software, um, VW software to plug it in and then code it. And oh, I just thought, there's got to be an easier way. This car must have Bluetooth. So anyway, I got into my Carista app. Now check out the Carista app. I think it's awesome. This car, I can't believe how many features it had on the app. I unlocked so many features and I'll show you that now. Bit of key sweat there. Anyway, so yeah, one of the features, okay, check this out. Right, so you guys probably have a problem with this. Right, what that used to say is telephone not installed and I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't connect to anything. I couldn't search for my phone, nothing. Now it allows me to search it. Now, it was so simple. I went to the Carista app, which is on my phone um, and connected Bluetooth straight to the OBD, which is down there. Where's my finger? There it is, there, down there, yeah? Driver's side. So yeah, so I plugged it in, connected it. I went to the menus. I went to driver assistance or something like that. I can't remember the menu. Went down and I saw Bluetooth, enable or disable. And I clicked enable and that was it. It turned it on. I've accessed it. Now I'm sure some people don't know, but they probably have to go to a dealer or something. They just do the similar sort of thing and charge about 300 pounds in the UK or maybe $350 in the US or wherever you are. Um, I think it's completely wrong. Now, anyway, Bluetooth's up and running. What else did I do? Okay. Now, I didn't know that Audi's had this. Now, I don't know if this works on my car, but if I press, if I press car, down here yeah I managed to get Audi drive select now I didn't know what this was Buzzman I hope you're watching this might be a, a little video for your car you know you might be to unlock these as well but I can sort that out for you let's check it out so yeah Audi drive select Buzzman by the way is my boy down in London um, he's got an Audi S4 that we saw in the last video with the alloys good friend of mine known him for many years so yeah um, so yeah Audi drive select I didn't know what ADS was Audi drive select so I looked it up and apparently you can change the dynamics so you've got engine dynamic so it makes it more responsive auto or comfort mode so comfort is more gradually accelerates you know auto is it probably just picks out the way you're driving and then does it um, so if I select that on auto apparently it's supposed to change the acceleration response steering as well auto or comfort so I've kept it on auto so if I drive slow it loosens up the steering wheel if I start driving fast it stiffens up the steering wheel um, yeah it's just handy I suppose and then you've got um, suspension. Now, I don't know if this works on my car because I don't think it's got air ride suspension or anything. But I'll just leave it on auto. How's that? So, yeah, the, I've un actually unlocked this feature, which is absolutely amazing. Now, the way I did this, again, guys, Bluetooth, Carista app. Go to Carista, um, Google Carista, 
a company that makes um, software and stuff for the app and you, you get a little OBD Bluetooth dongle that plugs into the um, socket plug that in and I couldn't believe how many features were on this phone um, when I I can change the intensity of the driving lights um, the gongs the sounds the beeps the alarm beep um, so many different things um, also the um, the heater controls there, there's so many controls um, that you can do even though even when I start you know the um, you might have seen it on the Audis when it does a little sweep of the needles that you can switch out off or not on you can have the lights when the lights are off the needles are just glowing it's just crazy man you can you can have um, so many different features so I advise you guys to check that out right what am I gonna do next so let's get back outside where it's cold right so you can see the engine bay I thought I'm gonna give this engine bay a nice quick good old clean up yeah and I'll tell you how easy it is it's as easy as one two three Right, so I just took the um, cover off where the battery terminals go and the pollen filler and everything. Let's check this out, this is bad. This whole area is just covered in leaves. It's been sat for a long while. So I'm gonna clear all that up, give it a good clean as much as I can. Get it all nice and clean and tidy. And hopefully that should be the end of that. So yeah, let's see what the engine's gonna look like after. I took the cover off the engine. Look at the state of that. So I'm gonna give that a clean as well. Let's see what the end results looks like. So I took the cover off, gave the engine a nice clean. Got coating on there as well. That's just the coating. All the leaves gone, all the debris, all of it clean. So I've washed the car, decontaminated the paint, cleaned the wheels. Looks a lot better than when I bought it. It wasn't even washed. And the leaves, as you saw earlier, shocking. Now this is gonna need a little bit more TLC because There's a lot of ingrained debris inside this paint, so I'm gonna to have to clay bar this at some point. Front bumper's been sprayed before, so I think that's overspray as well, where the, whoever sprayed it hasn't done a decent job. So that's gonna be another job for me to do. All in all, it looks better than before. That's the main thing. Done the door jams as well. these headlights you can see how dull they are it's gonna give them a polish up make them clear it does let the car down let's crack on with that so there's the headlights done to be honest with you they're not the best but the best that I can do is they're just absolutely knackered I gave the badges and decals and the surrounds and the quattro badge polish as well. So yeah, and overall this is what the car looks like.